Hey, it's Vicki with Tri-State RV in Anna, Illinois. And today I wanna to give you a look at one of my all-time favorite units. It's the 2021 Forest River Sabre 37 FBT. We'll go ahead and start off right here on the front of the unit. You do have these uh, nice docking lights. These help you back up at night with the LED strip along the bottom here. Here's your battery compartment. And it does come with a spare tire. On each side of the unit, right at the front is where your LP bottles are stored. There is a nice large uh, couple pass-through storage, well, one pass-through storage space and this nice large storage space here. Uh, it is lighted, both of them are. These are push button lights. So all you gotta do is tap on the button right here in the center. Over here are your water connections, so your fresh water, your city water, your black tank flush, uh, and then you can winterize from here. There is a sprayer and your cable and satellite hookups. Right here is your pass-through storage space. This one, again, is lighted. You've got cable and satellite hookups over there as well, along with an outlet. Here is one of your uh, tank drains. So there's your black tank. And then back here, you've got your other black tank, I believe. No, that's just your gray tank. It does have a ladder for roof access, which is great because you are able to Get on the roof, which is a full walkable roof, uh, and check the roof every three months as recommended by the manufacturer. This unit does have three slides. It's got two opposing slides and one in the bedroom. Here's the other side of your pass-through. And then over here, you do have an outdoor kitchen. So you've got a cube refrigerator along with some prep space here and a nice little single basin sink. It does have leash latches that are bolted directly to the frame. These nice stable steps. We'll go ahead and take a look inside. We'll start off right here in the bedroom. So the bedroom is right here directly to your right. There is a nice large bed on one slide which offers more walk space through here. It does have a dresser in here. Here's where you would mount your TV. So you got a cable hookup along with an outlet. There are barn doors. I believe this is the only one in the unit. Uh, barn door style door. Easy glide. Right here's your bathroom. It's of course, you do have a huge shower here. It has a skylight overhead, which offers more headroom for the taller guys. Nice large seat and some shelves. Huge shower. Next to that is a linen closet, but it's not just a linen closet. It, you can also use it uh, to have your washer and dryer in if you choose to do that. These shelves are removable. And you got a couple outlets there and then of course your water connections. Over here, you got a nice large closet. So you got some shelf space up above, some shelf space down below and space to hang your clothes. That's a fairly wide closet. Does have two sliding doors. And then over here, you've got your double vanity, which is great. You don't have to share a sink. And three large medicine cabinets, along with some extra counter space, some drawers, and some more cabinet space. Before we leave the bedroom, I wanna show you this. Huge storage space here. And there are two sets of doors. So you get one there and one here and 
this is large enough to almost be a second bed. All right, taking a look downstairs, just inside the entry door, there is another bathroom, it's a half bath. So your guests don't have to go all the way up into the master if they need to use the restroom. Of course, you got a toilet. It does have quite a bit of storage space in here. And your vanity does have some counter space. And there's also a window, which offers some natural light in here. Got these nice tall ceilings. There are two ACs. Uh, there's this one and then there's the one in the bedroom. And here are your opposing slides, which opens up this living room quite a bit. So you've got this one and the one behind me, which I'll show you in just a moment. But before we get to that, here's your entertainment center. So you've got some storage space up top, a massive TV, and a huge fireplace here, which is great for those cool fall nights where it's kind of, you know, a little bit chilly, but not uh, so cold that you need to run your heater. You can run your fireplace and be able to warm this main living space. Now, this couch here does fold out into a bed. This is just recliners. However, on the recliners, you've actually got a heat setting, the LED lights, so it lights up this cup holder along with some LEDs underneath the uh, recliner set and then you've got a massage setting. And then opposite that is your other fold-out sofa. These are very simple to fold out. You just pull the back cushions off, lift up from here, and pull, fold the legs out, and then just fold it out. Just like a regular sofa bed, essentially, except for the seating area is also part of the bed. Over here, you do have a dining table along with four chairs that have storage underneath the seats. And then of course, your kitchen in the back. So back here, we do have a nice large pantry. And with this pantry, the shelves are removable. So if you wanted to turn this into a closet space or you just needed uh, you know, you need more height, so you need to take this this shelf out here. You could do so. Got a large contour microwave. Three burner graystone stovetop and oven. Tons of counter space here and storage space. Over here, you've got a large single basin apron front sink. Uh, so this is the farmhouse style, and then you've got the hand sanitizing station and the sink, the faucet actually has a pull down sprayer. And what's great about this is I am a huge fan of a window behind the sink, and this unit has it, which is why it's one of my favorite. And it does have the zebra blinds, so you can let in just a little bit of light or it'll black out. Up top, you've got some more cabinetry, more cabinetry above the fridge. And speaking of the fridge, this thing is massive. Go ahead and open it up here. I'll show you the freezer section. As always, if you like what you see here, come check it out at Tri-State RV in Anna, Illinois.